Everybody, one time, clap it up for your offensive line. All right. All right. Last year, we did a six-part series on uh, Dak Prescott getting sacked and how terrible the offensive line was and how mad I was. Now, that number has been reduced down to 23. So, instead of a six-part video, we're going to do a two-part video uh, because we just ain't got that many sacks to break down. 23 in total. Um, 10 on the first unit. That'll probably be this video here. And then um, the rest are going to be featured on on the part two video. So um, we're going to start this thing from left tackle to right tackle, okay? Uh, Tyron Smith gave up one sack last year, and this is what it was. Tyron Smith is going to be right here. Let's just run the play, then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. Boy, Tyron got smoked right here. I hate it. It makes me sick. Somebody played Crossroads. I just died slowly. Um, but this was the only time Tyron Smith got beat. A lot of people want to call Tyron Smith that he's falling off or whatever, but the past two years he's given up uh, the least sacks out of everybody. He's been in that in that conversation as least sacks given up, so I don't know where he's falling off at. Uh, sure, he has some holding calls, but he got a damn knee brace on his elbow, so uh, maybe that can be something that we uh, that we look at moving forward. But uh, let's uh, let's keep going. It wouldn't be a sack video if we didn't have Connor Williams, but he only gave up three this year. So that's our magic number. Let's take a look at this first sack that Connor Williams gave up. Let's take a look at it. Um, yeah. Okay, so look, this is what I considered a Connor Williams sack. And let me just kind of break my, my rules down too. So how we did this, I did it by a count of four Mississippi seconds. That's like the universal um, seven on seven rule. That's a universal by the time you should get the ball out of the uh, quarterback's hands. If you have the ball longer than four seconds, then you're holding the ball too long. So when it's Longer than four seconds is on Dak Prescott or some other uh, some other situation. But if offensive lineman hold this block uh, for less than four seconds, it's on you. Also, if you're the offensive lineman that got beat in the block and your loss resulted in the pressure that uh, that ended up making the sack possible, then that sack is on you. I put this on Connor Williams. Because I feel like it was his pressure that made Dak get antsy in the pocket and ultimately get sacked. Um, who was this that made this sack? So, yeah, this guy came off of Zach Martin and um, and sacked Dak Prescott. But if we go boom, 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 it was Connor Williams that, that kind of made Dak go, oh, snap, let me do something else with the football. Let me move around with the football here, right? If if that pressure didn't didn't kind of come up on Dak like that, then possibly he could have uh, looked up and found uh, found somebody to, to throw the ball to or just some other option. So I'm blaming that one on Connor Williams, which is a light one to blame Connor to blame on Connor, whatever. This is a very light one uh, to consider. You know, Connor didn't get flat out smashed here, but it was his pressure that resulted in this sack. But let's keep going. And, of course, uh, pro football focus, they may grade their sacks differently, but this Vach Lombard and y'all sub to my channel, so <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. This is another Connor Williams sack. Let's see what happened here. Let's see what happened here to Connor Williams. Uh, yeah, Fletcher Cox is going to take him all the way back. Yep, yep, less than four seconds. Fletcher Cox pushes him back, get the strip sack. That's on Connor. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Let's keep watching. Let's see the, the third sack on Connor. Yeah, I think this is just uh, Deron Payne beating up on him here. Yeah, it's pretty bad right there, young Connor Williams. But we see a lot less. Uh, we saw a lot less of this from Connor Williams. And like I said on the Twitter machine earlier, man, this is uh, going into Connor's third year, and I like to grade people on a three-year basis. So if we going into year three and Connor Williams hadn't really figured it out or hadn't really, you know, stopped lunging at people, uh, then yeah, we gonna <laughs> we gonna we gonna uh, cross that road going to cross that road whenever we um, get there. And of course, Connor Williams, this guy wasn't, he didn't get the sack. Connor Williams guy didn't get the sack, but uh, but Connor getting smoked like that uh, kind of flushed Dak out a little bit. See, Leo Collins here. Leo Collins, this guy, get the sack. Who's that? Kerrigan? Kerrigan gets the sack, but if it wasn't for the pressure in Dak's face, then Dak would be fine. Like interior pressure is worse than outside pressure. You know, Dak could have stepped up somewhere, but he couldn't because, you know, Connor got smoked. So I put that one on him. Now we have two sacks for Travis Frederick. Let's take a look at the first one. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yep. <clears throat> Pretty much, pretty much. Let's see what happened here. Uh, this guy came from B Gap. So a fellow just fell down. I feel you. <laughs> but hey, we're not watching Sue Philo. We're watching uh we watching Travis Frederick. Yeah, we just got a guy crossing the face and you know, Travis just uh didn't he didn't properly set to get his hips around. See? Uh da, 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 da. yeah, Travis dropped his post foot, but he didn't 
put enough power into his power foot, which is his you know post foot or whatever. So, yeah, Travis got taken there. Let's see the next one. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. And I got Travis down for this one, too. Uh, let's watch it, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Travis starts off well here because Travis uh, actually gets help from Zach Martin, which is okay. But in terms of these gap exchanges, this is another rule. So we're looking at young Connor Williams, right? He's passing his guy over, but great job by Connor here. He's going to keep his eyes up, okay? He's going to keep his eyes up and see this guy coming around, and Connor's going to reset. Boom, and he's going to engage with his guy. That's fantastic. The problem is that when Connor passed over his first block, Travis was turned to his right too much. Uh so it left his his left his left hip open. He couldn't really uh he couldn't react and adjust to it because Travis was 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 just turned. You can see he was turned to his right here. And if you're a defensive lineman and you're attacking somebody's left hip and they turn to the right, of course it's 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 absolutely going to be bad like that. What Travis should have done is he should have felt that pr- he should have took this opportunity right here to sink uh to sink his left hip under this block right here. I don't recommend people dropping their post foot, but I play center and I tell centers all the time, if you in the middle, you ain't got a side cuz you in the middle. So if you got to drop this post foot to 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 if drop your uh your left foot just to get up under this uh, this block right here do what you got to do see how Connor Williams did Connor Williams kind of brought him over brought him over but when he had to adjust to the uh, to the left side he dropped his left foot boom like that see that he dropped his left foot it just gives him extra room to navigate opposed to just keeping himself turned like that but that's Travis he only gave up two sacks this year let's take a look at Zach Martin okay cool so on my notes I got Zach Martin giving up a half a sec and you know, we can do Segway Jones here because Lael was the other half of this sack. So um, we'll just take a look at Zach Martin and Lael Collins, your right guard and right tackle. Both the, both these guys kind of, um, you know, <clears throat> and, and, and it's real tricky because we have a quarterback that scrambles around the pocket and um, he kind of, you know, he kind of ran in, ran into those sacks. But my logic here, my logic here is I want Lael to actually have a, to have a better, hand on these guys let's take a look at um let's see if i can give you a better example i can't give you a bad example uh not not in this play but at some point i want Leo collins to actually like punch and get hands on this dude and keep him there um Leo just kind of keeps him to the outside which ain't a terrible notion if your quarterback don't scramble keep guys to the outside right but dak being a a quarterback that's likely to move around a bunch right Leo kind of left himself open by not engaging with him. If Leo Collins engages like he never does, he can control this guy. But since he's just pat, 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 this defensive end was able to get back inside whenever he wanted to, right? Leo didn't have control. He just kept him at bay. I want control. Um, now, Zach Martin, <laughs> Zach's block is different because Zach got control. Now it's easier to get control from the three tech spot than the DN spot, you know, because things happen, happen, you know, quicker in there. So of course, Zach Martin was able to get control, uh, but Zach kind of got driven back a little bit and boom, the, the three tech just released. Like it was, it, he, he was able to get away from Zach Martin. So if I had to tally this up on anybody, um, I'm giving it half. I'm giving one half to Zach Martin and one half to Leo Collins. And let's move on to Leo Collins. Uh, he gave, of two and a half sacks this year and i consider this to be his half let's watch his other two they got they uh they do a little bit of a switch to the outside and the switch is actually picked up nicely we're talking about Lael and uh zach martin are are uh gonna get switched here by these uh d linemen and they actually pick up the switch nicely um if you take a look at Lael, he's going to do a nice kick to the outside keeping his eyes open but he sees right the vision is very important here. Shouts out to Leo for the vision. He sees 70, 75 start to come over a little bit. Leo's going to step inside with his left foot. You actually see him slow down. He went from a gallop to a slow step, right? Look at Look at these big steps first, right? Big step, big step, but then he slows it down and gets back inside, right? Right, big step. He sees it coming. He gets back inside, and he anticipates that gap exchange. Fantastic feet there by um, Leo Collins. But once we got to this point, 
we talked about Leo Collins, what what got him beat a bunch last year is missing with his hands and not getting his hands inside. So who is this? 75? We're not going to call Eagles players around here, but 75, um, he was able to get a hand in the middle of Leo Collins' chest, and Leo didn't get a chance to engage here with uh, 75. So the hands didn't work, you know, the, the and the hands kind of got set up. Uh, the, the, the hands got Leo set up to where he got pushed back and kind of powered, powered over a little bit. And uh, he wasn't able to finish that uh, finish that block, and you know it got Dak Prescott sacked. So pretty good job with the feet there. I just wanted to see a little better finish. But let's take a look at Leo's other sack. Oh boy, uh, take note, young offensive lineman. Let's take a look at Leo, but not not, not even look at Leo because we know what we're looking for. Let's just take a look at Leo's feet. If we watch Leo's feet, we'll see exactly what happened on this sack right here. Um, you saw how active his feet were when he was when when he was traveling um, to get to his spot. Those are those are some pretty good steps. Uh, boom, 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 quick and uh, quick, and he covered a lot of ground with him. I ain't, I ain't mad at that at all. But you see that when he got beat, his feet stopped moving. That ain't helping you at all. This little shuffle right here, that little shuffling, that ain't moving your feet, fam. Keep them things going. And when uh, whoever this is, we're not going to name Packers players around here. But uh, when 91 got back inside, it was because Leo didn't move his feet. He didn't step properly, and that got him beat. So, uh, yeah, Leo only gave up two and a half sacks. And that's cool because Leo gave up like eight last year. Um, Leo gave up eight last year. Tyron gave up like four. Connor gave six and a half. Travis, Travis didn't play. Travis didn't play. Looney gave up a half a sack or something like that. And Zach Martin gave up three. So everybody's sack numbers got better, uh, better than they were last year or whatever. So, so that's encouraging. That's a good sign. This is part one on the part two video. We're going to talk about the sacks that weren't our fault. The sacks that were on Dak, um, and the sacks on the backups, Joe Looney, Xavier Sofilo, and Cam Fleming. All right. So y'all tune into that whenever that drops. Um, salute to my Patreon people. Uh, salute to um, my Discord. Y'all go join that. Follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Hit the like and the doorbell. Y'all hold it down for the dosky. Whoa, skin, peace, peace, skin, man. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.